Hello students, now I am going to discuss about the section B and C of jam. They have no negative marking. And you be like, bro, free marks, I'll attempt everything. And jam is like, that's what we want you to think. Welcome to the most misunderstood gold mine of jam. Everyone knows there is no negative marking, but nobody tells you the real hacks to actually make use of it without messing up your rank. Until today, buckle up. MSQ is like your ex. Multiple options, no clarity and high risk. But guess what? You won't lose marks even if you mark it wrong. So here is the hack. First, eliminate the obvious wrong choices. If two options feel safe, mark them. Don't overthink. Never leave an MSQ unattempted. Worst case, you get zero. Best case, you get the jackpot two marks. Jam repeats similar logic structures. If you have practiced smartly, you will start seeing correct options like math, intuition, magic. Now the gnats. Gnats are like one-sided love stories. You type your answer, hoping Jam loves it back. But here is the hack. Always attempt the gnats. No fear. Eliminate even if you don't know the exact. Use the boundary values, options from your working, don't leave the box empty. Even 1.73 is better than nothing. Jam often uses the standard constants in NATS. Now you are thinking, I know all this, but here is what you don't know. Which MSQs and NATS are worth taking the risk? That's where our coaching center steps in. We decode Jam's pattern like it's a reality show script. Predict question styles based on the repeated logic traps, train you when to go bold and when to play safe, and teach you answer formatting hacks so you don't lose marks for typing 2 instead of 2.00. In short, we turn section B and C from confusion zones into free scoring highways. Join us where strategy meets the success and no negative marking is equal to the positively higher rank. So what are you waiting for? Join Dr. Shorov's classes today.